Lions TV, full time from the Abbey Stadium. It is back down to earth with a bang. Millwall are out of the Carabao Cup, falling at the first hurdle to League One Cambridge. I was going to go tonight, but I've had my car repaired this week, as well as paying for my place in my box at the Den last week. So opted to save my money for Sheffield United this Saturday. And, you know, not being an armchair supporter, but fuck me, I'm glad I did. Absolute shocker for the 750 or so that travelled. Some will say it's a blessing in disguise that we're out of cup that they're not really interested in. Um, I do sort of agree with that, but I don't feel that that would be Gary Rowett's take on it. And I'll tell you why. I couldn't get the stream on, so I actually listened to it on the radio. But I could get the sense that there was not a lot happening at all. And if anything, Cambridge were on top in the first half, especially for long periods. The start on 11 was this, and it was, I think, five of the start at 11 from Saturday, played again tonight. Now, in my mind, lots of wrongs there. And I know hindsight's a wonderful thing, but he should have started topologic left wing back. He should have started Hayden Muller instead of Charlie Creswell. He should have gone with Tyler Bury in a 10. And he should have played a laugh out front from the start. Instead, he doesn't. No Fleming in the squad as well. I'm assuming that's due to an injury. We'll have to wait and hear on that one. But I'm pretty sure Fleming would have played, definitely played some part tonight if he hadn't started. Tom Bradshaw fires a shot over the bar very early in the game. I think it's about six minutes. Pulls his hamstring and has to be replaced by Isaac Calafe. And then after that, it was just catastrophic after catastrophic incident. And George Honeyman will now miss... Saturday's trip to Sheffield United it is an EFL competition. And as you know, we'll be playing in the EFL Championship this Saturday. It will be banned for Sheffield United away now. Booked in either half. Again, did Honeyman need to start tonight? Just a really, and as I said, I know hindsight's a wonderful thing. Some very strange decisions. Ryan Ender cuts his head open and he has to carry on with a new shirt on. And then later on in the game, Isaac Alafa, after m missing the hat for chances, is actually sub sub, which if unless he's injured, doesn't bode well for his future at the club. But I think even he took a knock. So we've gone into the game full of confidence, full of beans, with an opportunity to play the Hayden Mullers, the best art topologue, the Tyler Buries of this world. Some of them haven't even got in the squad. We've ended up being knocked out by a League One club. Confidence knocked. On top of that, Honeyman now suspended, Bradshaw injured, Alafe potentially injured, and Ryan Leonard potentially injured. So it's been an absolute night from hell. And as I said, back down to earth with a bump. We'll have to wait and see and hear on the uh, health and update of those players. But me will are out the Carabao Cup at the first time of asking. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Whew, come on, you Lions.